guys and welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by so guys this is an alternate dress tutorial for a one year old so i'll start by placing the measurements on the upper bodies so the length i'll be working with is nine inches but i have ten and a half inches here so we are good so i'll start by placing the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement i'm working with is four and quarter that is eight and a half divided by two so eight and a half is her shoulder measurement divided by two is four and quarter so i'll mark that and the next width i'll be working with is two inches i'll mark that out as well i'll mark the half inch shoulder slope and the neck depth for the front neckline so i'll be using one and a half inches one and a half for the back neckline i'll be using half so I'll connect both of them to this. Sorry, I have to remark this. So half inch for the back neckline, one and half inch for the front neckline. So Arm hole measurement is four and a quarter inches. So I'll connect it. So I'll place the body measurement. The body measurement I'm working with is two is two inches divided by five divided by four is five and a half. So I'm gonna be adding half inch to that. So that is six. So I'll get the midpoint of the armhole, four and quarter divided by two, as usual is two and just one, so I'll mark that. And at that point, I'll come in by half an inch. And I'll connect the armhole from here to here to here so i'll create a curve so the length of the upper bodies is nine inches plus one inch sewing allowance is ten inches so i'll, I'll mark that out as well i'll also mark out six inches here and connect so now for the halter neck so I'll connect from this neckline two inches to five and a half remember that our body measurement is 22 divided by four which is five and a half so this is the point here so I'll make it a straight line from here to here so that will be our halter neck So I'll go down by half an inch, as you can see here, half an inch. So that is where the line will stop. So I'll start cutting it now, but I'll cut the back first. So this is the halter neckline. Sorry about my chalk. I don't know why it was not marking well, but I, I hope you can see it. Just mark a straight line from here to this two inches point. So I'll cut the back piece first. So this is the front piece and this is the back piece. So with this now, I'll cut the lace fabric. So let me do that quickly. This 
is the front and the back so what i will do now is to take them to the machine the fabric alone and the satin alone so i'll join them by the sides you know, with the front side facing each other like this i'll do the same to the fabric also by the sides as well so and after that i'll come and show you the next thing to do so guys i finished joining it i finished joining the satin and also on the fabric and i already opened the seams with iron i ironed it i will take this to the machine i'll make sure to pin all around before sewing so i will take this to the machine and join it after joining i will notch this point and this point and then i will leave about one inch to use and turn everything out so i have finished covering everywhere i've joined all the necklines the sides and under here as well so i'll iron it properly and then i'll move over to the neckline so let me show you how to cut the neckline i'll be using 11 inches so how did i get 11 inches i measured my daughter's round neck and i got 10 inches and i added one inch to that now you can also get it like this this is the dress the upper part of the dress so all i did i also checked it you know and after checking this i got five inches for the back neckline i also got five inches so that makes 10 inches so that means it's accurate so i'll be placing 11 inches here Eleven inches by two inches. The actual length will be one and a half inch by the time I'm done sewing. So I'm using half inch for sewing allowance. So two inches. So I have used the satin to cut out the fabric as well. What I'll do is to join them together like this. And then close this part and also close this part here and here. And after that, I'll show you the next thing to do. So I have finished sewing it. And what I'll do now is to get the midpoint. So I'll get the midpoint and notch it. So I've notched it. And then I will also get the midpoint here. Which is two and a half. Because this is five inches so this is the midpoint of this one is two and a half so when i want to start attaching i will start attaching it from that two and a half point but it's very important that you know how to attach it so just like as if i'm attaching a waistband to the skirt i will fold this like this you can you can attach one like this and after after attaching one you now close it up with the second one but i like attaching it at once i will just taking half inch half inch okay yeah. so as i'm joining it i'm folding in half inch on both sides and i'll take it all the way around i hope you understand like this so i will fold this and fold this and fold this With the neckline inside it like this so i will sew it all the way around and come and show you how it looks so just keep on watching so guys i finished attaching it as you can see so i'll set this aside now and move over to the lower part of the dress 
So I had to hem the satin on both sides because it was fraying a lot. So the length of this satin is 14 inches. And for the lace, I have 16 and a half here. So I have 16 and a half on the, on the lace. And I'm going to gather it. The width is three times the measurement I have on the upper body, which is 24 inches. So I tripled the size, I tripled the inches. So I have the upper part of the dress is 24 inches. So I'm using 72 inches, which is three times to three times of 24 inches. So I'll be attaching that also to give the gown a little bit of volume. So what I have here is 64 inches by five inches. And I have two of it here. I will attach it in two steps on the line on the lining so when it's time i will show you how to do that so i'll gather this now to 24 inches and attach it to the upper part of the dress and after that i'll show you how to attach the net and the lining So I have gathered the dress, this is how it looks, this is how it looks, so I will set this aside and prepare the hard net and the lining that I will attach to this. So this is the lining and what I will do now is, I've not, I'm yet to hem it, so after this I will go and hem it with half an inch, so I will mark 2 inches all the way down two inches i'll do that off camera but i just want to show you what i want to do so i'll mark the two inches down and then remember the net is five inches i'll come here and mark five inches that is basically seven inches from here that's seven inches from here so that is where i will attach the second one make sure that your net does not go the length of the net you're attaching does not go beyond the lining so so the first one be attached by at two inches line second one five inches line so i'll mark both two inches and seven inches seven inches line and attach it i'm going to gather it to the lining so that it will give the gown volume so i'll do that quickly and come and show you so this is the neck i will attach the first one here and second one here like that so i will do that quickly and come and show you what next to do the gown is almost ready so i finished attaching the net to the lining and now i will gather it so i will gather it like this the normal way that i gather with needle and thread gather it or if you can gather it with your machine the longest seam after I, after the, after sewing it, now draw it to create your gather. Then after gathering it, I will attach it to the dress like this, and then after I will flip it. So that's what I will go and do now. And after that, I will show you. So I've attached it, and So I will attach the part of the dress and that will be the last thing to do. So after doing that, I'll come and show you the finished look of this dress. So keep watching. So guys, I have attached the zipper to the dress and the dress is ready. Can you see how beautiful it looks? Can you see? It is so beautiful. This dress was size a two year old and I made it with one yard of fabric, one yard of lace and not even up to a yard of satin. So thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.